Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Cassie and I share plan with me's and hauls and other planner related videos here on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video and I hope you enjoy. All right, so the kit I am using for today's plan with me is the April mystery kit from Sadie Stickers. Um, I was subscribed for her mystery kits for several months. Um, I'm not currently as I feel like I was kind of on kit overload. Um, so I decided to not subscribe for a little while, but her mystery kits are always really great. Um, she does still have those up on her website. So if you are interested at all in subscribing, definitely go check that out. Um, they are always so good and she includes so many good things in the mystery kit. Um, if you saw when I was doing my flip through, it kind of showed all of the different things that came with that. And it's just really good. You usually get like a journaling page um, as well as um, like a foiled sheet. She's been including that in there. I don't think that's always part of it, but she's had some really good foiled add-ons as well. Uh, but just really, really good. Um, love her mystery kit so much. Um, and I am so glad. I think this was the first one that I got and I saw the sneak of it and I thought I have to have this kit. I think it was a sneak with like the apron um, that full box and I saw the pink and the yellow which I love it's one of my favorite color combos um, those were actually my wedding colors <laughs> and um, my first apartment with my husband I bought pink and yellow bath towels as well they were on my wedding registry I was really obsessed with light pink and yellow for a little while um, so luckily he you know just went along with it and didn't complain that I had pink and yellow bath towels <laughs> Um, but anyway, I loved the colors. I saw the apron and the, I think the honey was in that box too, maybe. Um, and so I thought it might be something with some bees and other fun stuff and I have to have this. So, so glad that I picked this up. It's probably, probably my favorite spread that I've ever done. If I dare go out on a limb and say that, um, cause I have a lot of spreads that I really love, but this one, I don't know. Everything just kind of like flowed together for me. That doesn't always happen. Like, I feel like I have been in a little bit of a planner funk lately and, probably because I've like not been able to do it as much as I would like. And so jumping back in sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, and this one, everything just kind of like flowed. And I was like in like, I don't know, in tune with everything that was happening. So um, these date covers that I'm pulling in, those were an old, I think a $2 Tuesday or something for Sadie stickers from years ago. I probably have had those for, I don't know, maybe close to three years. Um, but they were perfect for this kit with kind of like the honeybee vibe and honeycomb. So I pulled those in for the date covers. Um, and then the bottom washi, I did just use the bottom washi that came with the kit. And then on the top of the bottom washi, I did use a long, um, washi strip with the, um, I think it, I don't know if it was called dash lines or dotted lines, but it was, it kind of looks like, like a bee trowel to me. And so I pulled that in to kind of like go on top of that thin bottom washi strip. Um, and then I guess I'll jump into what I'm doing a little bit here. Um, this is a really, I feel like this is a really long video. I don't know if it's just because I took so long. If I just, I don't know. I, it's like a 58 minute long video and that's longer than most of my plan with me. So hopefully um, you enjoy long plan with me and it doesn't bother you that it's so long. Um, but I promise it's a good one. Um, so at the top, I knew I wanted to do something a little bit different in my date cover area. area I can't talk. Um, again, I've been feeling kind of like stuck lately. And so I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, but my brain wasn't like fully into being super creative. So I still knew I was probably going to use like the date covers. Um, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So, um, in the corner there, I just pulled in, um, the like torn washi strip from one of the pages, the little like journaling, el journaling element page. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm like a little bit out of it today as I'm doing this. I woke up and I don't know if it's exhaustion from my week or if I'm starting to get sick, hopefully not. Um, but I'm just feeling really like exhausted. <laughs> so um, if I fumble through this voiceover, please forgive me. I'm going to try my best not to um, sound like I feel today. So um, yeah, with the date cover area, I just used that little torn washi kind of thing in the corner and then pulled in some deco from the kit. The um, Hello July script that I'm messing around with there, that is from Monk and Marple. Um, her shop is open. I know um, when I did some plan with me's before with some of her stuff, the shop wasn't open yet, but it is open and she has a lot of really good stuff in there. So if you haven't checked her shop out yet, um, definitely go check out Monk and Marble. She's such a sweet human too. I just absolutely adore her. Um, I got to meet her in person when, um, and I've probably mentioned this in another plan with me, but I got to meet her in person when she came to visit family here. 
and um, we're going to plan to meet up again around Thanksgiving when she comes back. And so it's just kind of fun. Um, we didn't know each other at all until we, you know, were in the planner community together and just started chatting and now we're friends. So um, I just adore her and her sticker quality is really good. Um, even if I adored her, if her sticker quality wasn't good, I wouldn't recommend her stickers because um, I know a lot of you are, you know, watching and listening for what my recommendations would be. Um, and so I wouldn't recommend things that I wouldn't personally use. Um, and I absolutely love her stuff. Um, I have so many of her stickers now and I love bringing them into my spreads. So um, I did use her Hello July. I did cut it up a little bit. I think you kind of can't see it. I went out of frame a little bit. Um, I don't think I've cut it up yet, but see how it, it kind of looks crooked the way I had it on there. So um, I just ended up cutting out the Hello and then, um, yeah, doing that there. And then um, just kind of like repositioned it with the torn washi strip. Um, and then I used... I guess I took it back out of there. You can kind of see it now, like the deco from like the page in the kit and then pulled in some old Sadie stickers, honeycomb deco that I had. They were like mandala type of things. I showed them on the screen a minute ago, but um, I just kind of pulled those in to layer together over that um, torn washi strip there. So um, I guess while I'm going through the date cover deco I'm just pulling in a lot of the stuff that I have I actually think I'm looking at my spread right now all of the deco in my date cover area is Sadie stickers um all of the garlands that I end up pulling in and then the honeycomb and the little bees those are all Sadie stickers so I'm gonna just maybe talk through some things um I have this cute little book called 52 List for Happiness and they have like some good journaling props in here. So I thought maybe I would pick some and, um, sorry if you can hear my pages, <laughs> thought maybe I would pick some as something to like talk through because I knew this was, you know, going to be a minute and that, like how much can you really talk about the same stickers over and over? Um, I had put a questions box up, but nobody really responded yet. So I don't have any good questions. <laughs> if anybody puts them in there, I'll use them for my next plan with me. Um, I did just start filming um, a separate video that I'm doing before the plan with me for that, but they're both like for the same spread. So um, that'll be up after this. So um, I don't know if I'll put that one up this week or if I'll wait until like middle of next week when I'm closer to getting that plan with me up. But um, yeah, stay tuned. I've got some other fun things coming. I'm trying to do some different things on my channel here. So um, oh, those little dividers that I'm using are also CD stickers. Like I said, pretty much everything in the date cover deco other than the Hello July is CD stickers. So um, I, again, I'm obsessed with these florals. I'm obsessed with these colors. And I don't know. I just, I love it so much. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to pick something from here um, that we can talk about, I guess, or that I'll talk about. And then you can fill me in on your answers in the comments below, because it's always fun to get to know you guys, um, you know, through the comments as well. So, um, some of these things are very interesting. Um, let's see, how about this one? I feel like this goes with my like sweet, like honey vibe. Um, because I really like that Bible verse about, um, how sweet word or what is it? Kind words are like honey sweet to the soul, something like that. Um, so anyway, this journaling prompt was list the simple ways you enjoy being kind to others. So, um, I think that's kind of fun to think about because it'll maybe make me think about how I can do those things more. <laughs> um, so being kind to others, I don't know. I feel like for me, um, like it is the little things, you know, like when you see somebody in public, I am one of those people that if I see somebody like, I want to compliment them on things, but then I'm also like, oh, are they going to think I'm weird because they don't know me at all? <laughs> so like there are some times where I see people like wearing something that I'm like, yes, girl, like you are slaying that outfit. <laughs> but then I'm like, they don't know me like that. It would be really weird if I said that to them. So um, I think, you know, I love to compliment people. I think that we don't do enough of that. Like we're probably a lot, you know, like I am, like you're scared to say that to somebody, but I feel like it feels so good when a stranger compliments you on something and it's just like kind of makes you smile. So, um, for me, I love doing that, but also I'm like scared of it sometimes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I need to do more of that. Just like not let my fear overtake me when I'm complimenting somebody because like, how can you be offended by somebody's compliment? Right. I mean, I guess you could be, but that'd be your problem, not mine. I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Also, sorry if you hear my child yelling in the background. I feel like I say this in every plan with me, but um, he is playing video games with my nephew. My nephew lives up in New York and we live in North Carolina. And this is one of the ways they stay connected is playing video games together. Um, my nephew is, well, he's, he's 16. He's the same age as my older son, who's not yelling at the video games. Um, but Abel's 12, almost 13. And so, yeah, they play video games together, which is super sweet. And I love that they like get to hang out, but not so much when I'm trying to do a voiceover or stories like I was doing earlier. <laughs> so, um, anyway, okay. Back to the simple ways you enjoy being kind to others. So compliments, I feel like are a big one, like genuine compliments, not like I'm looking for something that's not true. Um, I'm way too much of an honest person to like lie to somebody about something just to try to make them feel better or whatever. Um, so yeah, I would say compliments. Um, and please drop comments below and let me know what your answers are to these simple ways you enjoy being kind to others. Um, I also love like small little like thoughtful gifts for people. Um, if there's something I see when I'm out that reminds me of like, I do this with my mom all the time because I feel like I know exactly what my mom loves and she loves so many things. It's really easy, especially when I'm at Marshall's. I don't know what it is about Marshall's, but I always feel like I could buy my mom everything at Marshall's. <laughs> um, so like finding something that's like really small, but thoughtful, you know, maybe it's like somebody's favorite candy. Um, I know one of my coworkers just did that the other day for one of my other coworkers. And that was really sweet. Like she came back from lunch and she had some candy up front for her that she knew she loved. And, um, it's funny. I work in a dental office, total side note. Um, I manage a dental practice and we have a candy drawer. So <laughs> in case you ever thought that like people that work at a dental office don't eat candy, we're probably the worst. Um, I don't typically eat a lot of candy because I try to avoid sugar just because it really hurts me. Um, like physically, it, my body just hurts when I have too much sugar. But we have an entire candy drawer up front in the office. And around two or three o'clock, I feel like everybody's like up there looking for some candy and a pick me up. Um, we also have, I think it's funny, somebody had added a bottle of like anti nausea medicine in that drawer. So we have an anti nausea medicine in the candy drawer. Um, so yeah, anyway, everybody had been kind of like eating from that drawer. And so one of my coworkers um, went and got the other person whose drawer it is. Um, she bought her some more candy to put in her drawer, which was really cute. So um, yeah, little gifts, I think, are also a way, an easy way, um, you know, that I like being kind to somebody, finding little things that they love. Um, trying to think what else. I guess serving others. I think that's something that brings me joy in a way. Like it's a way I can be kind to others, but it brings me joy too to serve others. Um, just finding ways to help make their life easier or um, just helping them out. I don't know. I am a helper by nature. And so I really, um, I think that's a way to be kind as well. Um, but it also kind of fills my cup. So I don't know, maybe that's a selfish motivation, but um, yeah, I do enjoy that too. So um that's really all I can think of for those. But let me know in the comments if you guys have ways, simple ways that you enjoy being kind to others. Um, I'd love to hear different ways. And then maybe we can all kind of take some ideas from each other and spread some more kindness because this world is kind of an angry place lately, I feel like. Um, and everybody needs a little bit more kindness. It's it's just like you never know what somebody's going through. Um, I can't remember the exact instance, but I remember at work like, having a patient be kind of like short with me or rude with me or something like that. And then finding out later that they had some major life thing happening. And I don't even remember what it was. I don't remember the story. I just remember in that moment thinking, I knew there was a reason that they were like upset, but it wasn't me. And I just knew they needed some extra kindness because of how not nice they were being. And I just knew something was up. And so um, when I heard whatever it was, I was like, okay, there was a reason. Um, and this is why you should just be kind to people because you really don't know what they're facing. So anyway, um, yeah, moving on from that. So, um, I, what I just did there, I know I've shared this in other plan with me's, but this is just a little trick I learned from Danny with a planny, um, putting all the full boxes on like little boxes that I'd cut up from an, an old sheet, um, and kind of rearranging them to figure out what I, how I want them to flow. Um, I have a very particular way of how I like my boxes to flow. I like there to be symmetry. I typically will put my quote box in like the Wednesday column, but this time I decided to put it in the sidebar, which is very different for me. Um, but I really love how it came out. So maybe I'll do that more often. 
Um, so yeah, I used to just like lay them down and then have to like peel the stickers back up and hope not to rip the paper. Um, my inserts, by the way, are from Sadie stickers. That paper does not rip very easily. So it actually wasn't terrible when I had to peel them up off of these inserts. But um, when I was printing my own, the paper I had wasn't quite as like thick as this paper. And so they definitely would tear and it was just sad. So I love this idea that she had. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame here with this. Um, but yeah, it just made it easier. And so once I get them all situated, then I can just peel them off and start putting them down. And it has made my planning game just so much easier. So thank you, Danny with a planny for that idea. Um, if you are not already following her, you should definitely go check out Danny with a planny. Um, she does not have a YouTube channel, but she does do a lot in her stories and she is so creative, probably one of the most creative people I know in this community. And she's so kind um, so I just love her and think you should go follow her and check out her spreads and all of her little things. Like she has so many fun little tricks and things that you're like, wow, why did I not think of that? But she just thinks so outside of the box and I love it. So, um, yeah, Danny with a planny, if you're listening, thank you for all the inspiration in the community. You are amazing. Um, so yeah, now usually after I'll do the boxes, I jump in with my headers. I like to have my boxes, kind of outlined with headers, not always like the same on the top and bottom like I'm doing on this one, but sometimes I do like it to be like, I don't know, boxed in. <laughs> was that silly that I would say boxed in? But like, just like, I don't know, framed. I guess framed is a better word. Um, I do like to have them be kind of framed with like the dividers. Okay, I don't know if that made any sense. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying, but sometimes I like it to be the same on the top and bottom so it looks like a frame. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So um, I just kind of went through and figured out like, what do I want? But then I really loved the floral dividers in this kit or floral headers, I'm sorry. So I did want to incorporate those um, in, you know, in here, but I didn't want to like go overboard with them. So I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of putting them in there and then I wanted them to have a good mix of the pink and yellow. So I changed them up a little bit after I put them down. All right, so these little bee clusters, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in my sidebar. I'm sorry that this gets like kind of out of frame here. I need to get like a second monitor to be able to see what I'm doing, but I don't have that right now. So um, I took this letters to Apollo like mandala honeycomb thing with the bee. And um, since it's like clear, I wanted to layer some florals underneath it so you could kind of see and it just looked like one big like honeycomb floral cluster going on. So I'm just layering some florals. These are from the floral add-on for the kit that came with the mystery kit. Um, she does put an entire huge page of florals with the mystery kits. I don't think I mentioned that before, um, but they're so good. Like I probably could have used another one just because some of the bouquets like I tended, I tended, yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to say, tended to favor more while I was planning, but one page actually got me through the spread really well. I didn't have a ton of leftovers, but I did use just one sheet. Um, so I think it's great that her mystery kits come with such a good floral sheet that you could really just use one if you wanted. Um, so in here I did add, um, that is a dash of sun, um, divider. It's just a simple foil divider. Those I really love. I love the simplicity of them. And, um, I tend to bring those into almost every spread I feel like lately. Um, so just put that in there to kind of separate from the box with the B cluster, um, I believe that bee cluster was Sadie's stickers. Um, I didn't see myself take it off the sheet there, but I think that was a Sadie stickers cluster on the bottom of that little area. Um, it was kind of a little bit much with the two, like the mandala and then the cluster, but I really don't hate it. So um, it's kind of one of my favorite things in the sidebar, even though it seems like a lot, but I love it. So it's fine. So again, I'm just layering some florals behind there like I did on the top, um, just to give it some color and not just be all foil. There's that deco sheet, the floral deco. I know it was just flash for a second, but you can kind of see how full that is. And she has a lot of like greenery and stuff on it too. So you can build your own bouquets, which is always nice. Um, that's me trying to figure out which one I'm putting in there. Um, so yeah, sidebar, um, I am, I guess I'm not struggling with my sidebars, but um, sometimes, I feel like it just requires more creativity than my brain can handle. But um, in this one, I actually was able to like finish the sidebar before the end of my spread. Sometimes I do the whole spread and then go back and finish the sidebar because I need like creative juices flowing. So I um, was pretty happy with how this one came out and then it just kind of came together. 
added um, a little bee in there, um, like as if it was buzzing out of the flowers. So yeah, that is my sidebar. Um, what else can we talk about here before we get to day to day? There's the foil deco sheet um, that came with the kit. Like I said, I don't think that's something that she always has, but um, I feel like in most of her recent kits, I've seen something like that. Um, sometimes it's just like bottom washy or things like that, but there is usually some sort of foiled add-on with it as well. So, um, okay, we are jumping into day to day, so I guess we could start talking about that. Um, so for Monday, this was June 27th. So that's the week that I back planned this and that was my daughter's birthday. Um, so this was the day my daughter turned 19. Um, so she's still a teenager, I guess, right? But she's kind of technically an adult. So, um, my daughter's name is Ellie. Um, but she was actually out of town, her and her boyfriend and a couple of his friends had gone, I think they went to the mountains at this point. Um, she went on a couple trips, like kind of back to back. So, um, she's just living her best life here. So she went to the mountain. So she wasn't actually home. Um, so we didn't really celebrate her birthday that day because she wasn't here, but, um, I still decorated my planner like she was. Um, so I had to work of course, cause it's a Monday. Um, so I went to work and I just pulled in a box from the kit and then, um, pulling in some floral. What did I do there? That is not how that ends up staying. I had pulled in... I'm looking. I'm so sorry. Maybe that is floral. It looked like there was like a honeycomb there, but I did not pull in a honeycomb. Um, the work script is from Paper Trail Plan, so I pulled that in there. And then below that um, is another circle from like the journaling page, and I am pulling off, I'm struggling, but I'm pulling off um, this little foiled circle is from the collab with Lauren from Plan Moshe Plan. Um, another one of my favorite planner girls, um, absolutely adore her and love watching her videos. Um, that was part of her collab. And so I used that to bring in some foil with that circle and then, um, used a car icon from crafts by Towie. Um, and then just adding some florals in there. But, um, my boys went to camp that week. So we had to drop them off at the church. Um, they went like a few hours away to a college, um, I don't know exactly. I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was like a couple hours away. Um, and they were there like staying in a college dorm for a week and doing church camp. And so we had to drop them off at the church and that was really fun. They did kind of like, not like a pep rally, but kind of where they got them like all excited about it. And they had this really funny video about camp rules and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, we dropped off my two, my two boys and then also my, my 16 year old's friend um, who's kind of been staying with us a lot. Um, I love him. He's basically like my other son. <laughs> um, but his mom has been going through um, like breast cancer and going through radiation and chemo and all of that. And so um, he spent a lot of time with us, um, you know, just um, while his mom has been in the hospital and things like that. And so, um, he got to go to camp with the boys and I was really happy that they got to all do that together. Um, so we went and dropped them off, um, and then had to go back to work. <laughs> I was hoping I could just have my day, but of course not. Um, so we dropped them off, went back to work and then, um, I didn't really have anything else happening that evening. So they were at camp. My oldest was still home, but my daughter was gone. So it was literally like, just us and, my and our 23 year old. So um, I just decorated the bottom um, and put happy birthday Ellie because it was her birthday and I wanted to decorate, but we didn't really do anything like crazy or fun that night. So um, yeah, and I just used, what am I doing here? I guess I rearranged that up top there. Um, so this is where I'm decorating for Ellie's birthday. The um, circle that I'm pulling in there is um, part of the Sadie stickers. Oh no, it wasn't a clap. I'm sorry. That was just a Sadie stickers $2 Tuesday. Um, so, and then that circle, I believe is letters to Apollo. Um, it almost, it doesn't have bees in it, but it kind of looked like it did. So I just pulled that in, um, for like the main, like where I'm going to put happy birthday and then, um, pulled in the Sadie stickers, like the other circle and just cut that in half so that I could decorate that whole area. Um, the garland and then this other little garland. These are all CD stickers. I feel like this whole spread is CD stickers and letters to Apollo basically, um, with a sprinkle of a couple other shops. Um, but I had bought a ton of their $2 Tuesday B stuff last year. And so I was super excited to pull it all in. 
Um, so I did the garlands to kind of decorate, make this whole area really fun and fancy since I'm decorating for my daughter's birthday. Um, I only have one girl. I have three boys and one girl. So, um, yeah, I wanted to go all out, even though she's like totally not like a girly girl. I wanted to go all out with the girly colors. <laughs> um, so I just went crazy with florals here and, um, I added in a cake icon. I'm not there yet, but I did add in a cake icon from Paper Muse Crafts. Um, I love her birthday cake icons. I don't know if she still has those in her shop, but I hope she brings them back if she doesn't, because I am going through those and I will need some more. Um, but it's kind of like one of my favorite ways to mark birthdays. So um, that's the little icon right there. So yeah, you can see I've used quite a few of those. <laughs> I'm going to need some more soon. So yeah, that's basically it for Monday. Um, I'm not to Tuesday yet, but Tuesday... Um, yeah, we didn't have kids again, so <laughs> it was kind of nice. Um, we both had work all day, um, and then um, we got a workout in, which was nice. So trying to stay on track with our workouts. We do have a home gym system, which I love. Um, I really enjoy like weightlifting. Um, I'm not a cardio girl. I hate cardio. If I'm running, it's because something's chasing me. So, um, but I love weightlifting. So um, we did get a workout in that night, which was really nice. Um, sometimes the kids will come out when we're working out and stuff, and like want to talk and like it's so cool. I love that my kids want to come and hang out and talk with us. But when I'm working out, I'm like, I'm dying. Please don't talk to me right now. So it was nice to just have a workout where it was like just us, um, no interruptions. We're just getting a workout in. So, um, at the top there I did use, um, I put one of the headers, um, one of the floral headers, I just put it sideways, um, on the side of that box and use that one box vertically instead of horizontally. Um, I guess vertical was the better word to use than sideways, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I pulled that in just to bring like some floral in, but not have it be like a whole huge cluster of florals. Um, and then I cut up some more of the, um, I think it was the yeah, other Sadie stickers, um, like little bee clusters, um, the honeycomb and put that on either side of that. And then, um, the computer that I use that is a crafts by Towie icon. And I pulled in some florals behind that and then used some of the little deco from the, um, foil add on that came with the kit. And then I did decide to use um, just like the kind of peachy colored header underneath that because I feel like that gave it some good definition. Almost looks like that computer is sitting on like a little counter or something. So I thought that was super cute. Um, and then these letters to Apollo sneakers. These are some of my favorites. Um, again, I didn't have much happening this night. So we did get a workout in, but I used my new sneakers for the first time. So I've been scared to use them because they're like a pretty cream color and I didn't want to ruin them. So I was like, I'll break them out in my home gym first and then I could take them out in public. Um, but my, um, my coworkers had for my birthday, they surprised me with um, a new pair of Ons, um, On Clouds, if you're not familiar with those sneakers. Um, and they were like perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with them and I love them so much. Um, but they had for my birthday, um, I'm sure I'll talk about it in another plan with me because I still have to plan that week. Um, but they got me some Ons and a Lululemon jacket that I loved and couldn't find anywhere. And so it was so, so sweet of them. Um, they spoiled me absolutely rotten. And so um, I finally two weeks later, broke the shoes in. <laughs> um, almost two weeks later, finally was like, okay, I guess I should wear the shoes. I loved them, but I was, I'm just scared to ruin them. Um, so yeah, I just use that icon to mark that I broke in my new shoes. Um, and then I'm using a box from the giving girl to mark, um, our workout that night we did back and biceps. So, um, just pulling in, a little weight. Um, I believe that weight is from, is that Crafts by Towie? I don't remember where that weight is from. I just pulled it off of that sheet too and I didn't see it, but um, wanted to layer something underneath it. I don't always like just an icon directly on a box. So um, those moons, you can see them to the left there. Those are from Monk and Marple. Um, she has these little mini moons. And so I decided to pull that in as like a layering element underneath because um, that yellow matched the kit so perfectly. So I brought that in and then um, just put some flowers behind the box, like up around the little bow part. And I really love how that came out. Like it's just so pretty with the florals behind it. 
So I'm um, super happy about that. And then this divider here is from Letters to Apollo. I um, thought that was a super cute bee divider. And so I decided to pull that in. And because I like symmetry, when I did it on that one side, I had to do it on the other side above the other full box. You can see me kind of figuring out which one should go where because I inadvertently ended up with kind of like a pattern and I was like, well, I need to keep the pattern going. So let me pull this other, other um, divider in. So just flipped ahead to that for a minute. Um, and then Wednesday, again, more work. Um, I had, let's see, I'm just pulling in some floral from there. Um, and then I pulled in a laptop. It's another Crafts by Towie laptop. And um, what I've been doing with my florals, I've seen Aria from Inspired by Aria. Um, I think that might be her YouTube name. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check on that. Um, but she's on Instagram. She just kind of came back on and I'm so excited she's back because I really loved her plan with me's. Um, she lives in Australia and I love her accent. Um, but I've seen her do this and I think Lauren from Plan Mosh Plan 2 where, where they cut out like the part where it's going to be covered up anyway um, with the floral and then add it into the icon. And I love that so much. So I started doing that and it's just one of my favorite things now. So um, did that with that laptop and then brought in the paper child plan script for work. Um, I love their scripts. They're some of my favorite. And depending on when I get this video up, hopefully tonight, um, they are doing a sale this weekend for um, Jess's birthday. And they have a lot of scripts up right now. So I think it's 20% off if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so if you need some scripts and it is still the weekend of the 23rd, 24th, um, definitely go check that out. Um, let's see. So this box here, I kind of cut out, that was another letters to Apollo box. And I just kind of cut it out to layer behind a box. And then I realized that's not going to fit there. <laughs> so I didn't like how that looked. And I decided to just move it down, um, later on in that day because I loved it. It just was not enough space. So, um, I'm going to use that for something else at the bottom there. And then I brought in this adorable little square box. I love this with the tiny floral at the top and the little like notched corner. Um, brought that in. I had a chiropractic appointment. Um, started seeing a new chiropractor um, slash he does like kind of some functional medicine type of stuff. Um, I can't remember if that was my first visit with them. Um, I don't remember. I'd have to look back and see. But um, we did a bunch of like food sensitivity testing and um, like tested my gut and all kinds of things to kind of figure out like health wise. I've just been really exhausted a lot. Um, and I knew that I wasn't quite at my best health, my optimal health. And I knew there was probably other food sensitivities that I didn't know about besides my gluten and dairy that I did know about. Um, so yeah, it was good to get answers, but also super sad that I now can't have more foods, <laughs> um, like eggs, but, um, there's a lot of things, but that's one of the big ones. that's really hard to avoid because they're kind of in everything. So I'm adjusting, but that was my, um, I left work and did that at like lunchtime that day, um, when got adjusted and, um, potentially if, if I'm remembering correctly, could have been my first day where I talked about like all of my health stuff. Um, and then let's see, I, yeah, I'm still marking that Cairo appointment. Just pulled in some of the little honeycomb deco into the florals. I just, I love honeycomb. I love the pattern. I love the hexagon. And so I just pulled it into everything in this spread because why would you not? Um, so pulled those in there. And um, what icon did I use? I used a Crafts by Towie icon. Um, it was the massage, or not massage, I'm sorry. It was therapy. It's the therapy icon, but I cut out the lamp so it kind of looks more like a Cairo slash massage table. She has released some Cairo, like actual chiropractic icons, which I love and I've ordered, um, but I didn't have them at the time of the spread. So I just kind of made that chair work for um, chiropractic by taking the lamp out. So made it work. Um, below the full box, I'm just marking that I ran to the grocery store. Um, I feel like I mark this in my planner all the time because I am always at the dang grocery store. Um, we have recently gotten into more of a habit of like meal planning and trying to do all of our grocery shopping in one trip instead of like multiple trips throughout the week. And that has been really lovely to not have to go to the store all the, all the time. 
um, and definitely better for our budget. <laughs> so, um, but this day I did have to run to the grocery store. So, um, luckily it's like right at the front of our neighborhood. So it's right on the way home. So if we do need something, it's super convenient to just stop there and get it. Um, so I marked Food Lion Run um, with a icon from my newest addiction with a grocery bag and um, another Monk and Marble moon that I cut in half. Um, I did cut the pink one in half so that it matched. Um, and then on the side there, I just put um, like the tiniest little bit of a header. I cut a header in half and then um, just kind of put it as like a border on the left hand side there. Um, and then I did it underneath as well. So I don't probably, yeah, it looks like I already did that. Um, but I did kind of just cut a header up and put it underneath the box to give it like a frame with the florals. So I could keep that like consistent floral pattern kind of flowing throughout the spread. And then, um, yeah, that's the icon I pulled off of my newest addiction sheet. Um, below that, I've already laid it down, but I had that little fun box that I created for the top and then didn't fit. Um, that was a circle with a floral on it from the journaling page that came with a mystery kit. And then the um, bees and honeycomb like circle box that I put behind it. That was from Letters to Apollo. And then the icon, I believe is a Paper Muse Crafts icon. Um, yeah, it looks like her bow on there. So it's a Paper Muse Crafts little TV icon. Um, I used that to mark my daughter came home that day and we watched um, Goodwill Hunting. She has this fun like movie poster that my brother-in-law got for her for Christmas and it's like all the like 100 movies or something like that that you should watch and so that was one of the movies on her list. It's like a scratch off poster so once you watch it you can scratch it off. So um, I had never actually watched Goodwill Hunting believe it or not so um, that was on her list and so we all sat down and watched that her me and my husband um, the boys were still at camp, so it was just us, and it was really nice. Um, our oldest, Isaac, he came down for a little bit and then was like, I'm done with this, <laughs> and he went back upstairs. So, um, But yeah, I used that to mark our little fun movie night with the, I can't even say with the family, it was literally just the three of us. But um, moving into Thursday, um, let's see, another one of the Sadie stickers, um, Honeybee, little clusters, brought that in, um, marking work here. I didn't have a whole lot um, that day either, so um, just decided to mark work in a very fancy, elegant way. Because <laughs> um, if you got to do it, right, you might as well just make it look pretty. So I um, pulled in behind that little box. I don't know if it's on there yet. Yeah, I pulled in one of the little swatches from CD stickers. They were meant for like date cover area, but I used it as just like a layering piece and kind of put it diagonal behind that fun arch box that was also, I'm sorry, was it an arch box? It's not. It was just like a big square um, that was in the journaling page of the kit. And um, I cut up, like I had a little part of, yeah, there it is right there, a little part of the header. Um, those scissors are horrible. You didn't see the struggle there, but they're bad. <laughs> I need to sharpen them or get a new pair. Um, but I wanted to just put like a little something at the top of it to kind of make it just fun. So I cut up a header for that. And then I cut up one of the like B-trail dividers for either side of this box just to kind of add some foil and flair to it. And I really love how that came out. Um, I love that like I don't typically cut up my headers in ways like that and I don't know why I don't think of it but my head my brain was just like going with it and coming up with different ideas um so this is me struggling to put like the tiny pieces on the side because I wanted it to like go the whole width of the box um so yeah I struggled through that a little bit but it was totally worth it I really love how it came out um, and then I did end up using a Paper Trail Plans work script again typically in my spreads if I've used one script um you know, a script to mark something that's consistent throughout the whole week, I will try to use that same script because I don't like having different scripts for the same thing, if that makes sense. Um, so I did use paper trail plans for the entire week for all of my work scripts. Um, and then I pulled in a Crafts by Towie. Um, yeah, I'm just cutting off the edge. Like her computer icons, they have like a little cup, some of them do, but I didn't really want the cup on there. It didn't, it didn't fit in there very well and so I figured I would just cut it off um and put it in there underneath the um little honeycomb cluster so I added that in there and um 
then put some floral on there. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I did do that. Um, yeah, just picking out the floral now. So, um, so yeah, that was work. I did leave work early that day. Um, I had my yearly physical. So yeah, that Cairo appointment was my first one then because I had my physical the day after I went and did my food sensitivity testing. So, um, yeah, I think I went that same day. I left early on Wednesday and then I ended up leaving early on Thursday as well. Maybe Wednesday I went back. I can't remember, but I had my physical with like, you know, just a general practitioner. I hadn't had a physical in, I think two years, probably. The last time I was at that doctor, the doctor that was there made me super angry. He was quite a jerk and um, didn't listen very well, even though his bio online said that he likes to partner with his patients for their health. And I was like, you did no such partnering and you were also a total jerk. I will use that word instead of the other words that come to mind. Um, so yeah, I, this other guy, I decided I would go back because one of my coworkers goes to that same office and she had this other doctor she really liked. And so I thought, you know, I will go do that, get like basic blood work and stuff done that needs to happen. Um, this guy was much better, but I'm still not super impressed. So I don't know. We'll see if I decide to go back and, um, you know, continue going there. I tend to not really do a whole lot with like traditional medicine. It's not my favorite. Um, I have a really whole long health story. Maybe I'll share that in a plan with me someday. Um, but traditional medicine really failed me. And if it, if I had gone down that path and followed all the things that they wanted me to do, I would be well on my way to like Alzheimer's. Like I'm not even kidding. Um, my functional doctor had told me that. So um, yeah, so I have like, you know, an interesting relationship with the medicine world. Um, I tend to be a little bit more into like the functional medicine, um, path of things and finding root causes of why I'm feeling the way I am or why I'm, you know, have certain things versus, um, traditional medicine was just kind of like, yeah, we see there's a problem, but we don't know why go back to your general doctor. Um, and yeah, that just didn't work out for me many years ago. And so, um, once I found functional medicine and, um, uh, that not the current doctor I'm with, but the previous one I had, um, she basically gave me my life back. And so, um, absolutely grateful for everything she did for me and really changed my thought process on how I approach my health and, um, who in my doctor world, I asked to participate in that with me, <laughs> um, because it's my health, not theirs. So I get to dictate what's happening. And a lot of times they don't, um, let you do that in like traditional medicine. Okay. Sorry about that break there. If my voice sounds different at all, um, the doorbell rang and some of the neighbor girls came, um, to ask if we wanted to buy lemonade. So instead of a lemonade stand, I guess they're just going door to door and it's $2 a cup, which seems very high. So <laughs> I guess inflation has hit my neighborhood. I don't know. Um, but my 16 year old is out there, um, buying some lemonade from these little girls now, which is sweet of him. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, ambitious kids to go door to door instead of just waiting at a lemonade stand like most kids do. <laughs> so, um, anyway, okay. So the end of Thursday, um, after my yearly physical, I ran to Publix to get probably a rotisserie chicken for dinner. Um, one of the few like quick things that I can eat. So I'm guessing that's probably what I went to Publix for. Cause I generally don't shop there a ton unless it's to get their moho chicken. Um, I love their moho chicken. So that's probably why I went there. Um, I used a little, um, set of utensils for my newest addiction to mark that Publix run because I am all out of grocery bags. I need to buy some grocery bags or something. And I didn't want to use the shopping cart again. I feel like I use that a lot. So I just pulled the utensils in because it was stuff for dinner. So I felt like that worked. Um, uh, moving on to Friday. So Friday was July 1st. Um, we had to pick up the boys from camp at church. So on the top there, I am just marking, um, I pulled a box from the boxes page from the kit and, um, what did I put on there? Oh, originally I had a little car and then I think I decided to change it out. Um, but I, put the Sadie stickers, little honeycomb, cut that up again, kind of to mirror that box from Tuesday. Um, I know I always mention it, but I like symmetry and I like things to flow. And so I wanted that to kind of mirror that, even though it's not identical. Um, and then, um, underneath that, I, 
um, was gonna mark. So I took another one of those date cover, um, like transparent date covers from Sadie Stickers in the pale yellow color. Um, after I picked the boys up, they were very hungry. And so we went and got Bojangles, um, went through the drive through and got that for them. And so I'm just marking that with some florals and um, a Paper Muse Crafts, um, I think it's Paper Muse, yes, yeah, Paper Muse Crafts, um, little burger and fries um, and drink icon. Even though they don't get burgers, they get chicken fingers um, always with the three piece chicken supreme dinner or four piece, depending on how hungry they are. Um, but I just use that cause it's kind of the closest icon I had. And then, um, just underneath that, I think I actually was going to mark Dollar Tree here, but then when I went and wrote with my planner, I screwed up and I wrote Dollar Tree down below. So I just marked Food Lion here, but I'm pretty sure we stopped at the Dollar Tree for something. I just don't remember what. So I used that adorable little like coin purse from White Deer Stationery to mark that and um, just put some of the floral that I cut out from behind it to um, kind of like decorate that a little bit and make it look cohesive with the kit. And then below that, later on that afternoon, um, had a wax appointment. I don't really have any good icons for that. So I ended up just pulling in a bikini because I felt like that worked. Um, if it's a bikini wax, right, you could just go with that. So um, that's what I did. Um, maybe a little bit TMI, but that was um, my wax appointment that afternoon. And I just used one of those circles from um, Sadie Stickers and then pulled in one of the like I don't know what you want to call it. It's not an overlay, but the circle, um, like whited out box with the foil from the paper trail plans and plan mush plan collab. Um, so that way I could have a little bit of foil in there. And, um, below that, I just put a little checklist in, um, I haven't done it yet, but I do add some floral to it, but, um, I'm just cutting down the white space around that um, suitcase for my newest addiction. I think this is where I decided to take the car out because um, I knew I wanted to use the car down below and I didn't want to have that twice in the same like day. And I need to get some icons clearly because I'm running out of things. So um, I just pulled in that suitcase for my newest addiction. And I just cut down some of the white space because I wanted it to be like tiny for that spot. So just cut it down a little and then um, pulled the car into the bottom um, where I ran some errands and this is where I was struggling to find something for the wax appointment. And I was like, you know what? Bikini works. I'm going with it. Um, so yeah, that goes there. And then, um, below I ended up bringing the car in and just marked that I ran some errands. It was supposed to be Food Lion and Wegmans. And instead it ended up, I wrote Dollar Tree and Wegmans because I wrote my things out of order, but it's okay. I, you know, in another year from now, won't remember where I went first, probably it'll be fine. They all happen in the same day. So it's fine. Um, so I think here I was just looking for like a tiny little bit of floral for the top of that. Oh, nope, for up there. Um, I just went crazy with all the florals here. So I added some florals behind the circle and then I ended up adding a little bit of floral above the checklist. Um, I think that might be what I'm doing there. So I just wanted something tiny. I didn't want to add like whole thing to layer with because I feel like that'd be too much but I thought just a tiny little bit would be nice and then I did end up adding in um, a little bit of the dash line divider underneath that floral on top of the checklist I just thought that would be super cute so really happy with how that came out as well and then I pulled in a little bee because they're adorable and do you need all the bees in the spread so uh, moving on to Saturday um, really didn't do a whole lot this day. It was like another lazy day, kind of like today's been. Sometimes you need a lazy Saturday, you know, where like you're not running and we've been doing so much running during the week that it's just nice to have a lazy day. So I did the same kind of thing that I did. What day did I do that on? On Tuesday where I pulled in the header and then the box vertically, partially because I wanted to keep like symmetry, but in other part, because I needed to take up a lot of space. <laughs> so I went vertical with it. Um, and then I'm adding in a Crafts by Tally icon um, for the bed just to mark we had a cozy day at home. And the little pink moon from Monk and Marple added that behind it just to give it a little pop of color and set it apart. And I felt like it kind of was super cute behind the lamp because it almost looks like it's giving off like a little aura of the room or something. I don't know. Just thought it was really cute. Um, so I'm adding in some florals, of course, behind there. And what am I doing next? Um... Nope, I didn't do that. Okay, I decided that, so I did something a little different. I don't normally do this, but I um, picked up the icons and like 
decided what I wanted to go wear and then like kind of spaced it out a little bit and like half laid it down, but not fully. Um, just so I could figure out like how I wanted to put the things that I was going to mark. Um, I wanted to mark that I spent some time, um, in my prayer journal. Um, my friend Katie from the reformed planner, if you don't follow her, please go give her page a like and a follow. Um, she recently moved, um, out of state. And so, She's just getting her shop back up and running, but she has a really amazing prayer journal and um, I have one and it's like has this prayer wheel in it. So it's kind of broken down by sections. And so I can just like go through it and spend some time in prayer, but it's like journaling prayer, if that makes sense. Um, So you're like writing things down as you're praying and it's just really good. And so I spent a lot of time um, doing that, just being unrushed. Um, I'm pretty sure I had a glass of tea or something when I was doing that. So I used that little um, like a book with a coffee thing. Um, from White Deer Stationery um, to mark that. And then later on, we did um, some fireworks in our cul-de-sac. So our neighbors, um, sorry, I'm like watching what I'm doing while I'm doing this. So um, I put some little hearts coming out of the book because I thought that was cute. Um, But our neighbors put on like a little show in our cul-de-sac. Totally illegal, I'm sure of it. (laughs) Don't think you're supposed to do fireworks in the neighborhood. But one of our neighbors who was putting on the show is vice president of the HOA. So there's that. Um, But anyway, they're a good group of guys. Um, So we had a little fireworks show up the street. Um, We're kind of like at the end of the cul-de-sac. So it was like just a couple houses up. We did like a little neighborhood, like a street, not neighborhood, but really just the street. Um, We had like a little, um, you know, like hot dogs and hamburgers. And everybody, everybody brought a dish to pass. I can't talk. Um, I've been in this house for five years now and don't really know a ton of my neighbors. Like I know some of them, but, um, and I know like, you know, the ones that have kids that are always running around because my kids are usually with them. Um, but it was really nice to get to know some of the other neighbors that I've never really met or spent any time with. Um, so it was a lot of fun and it was super nice to just be like two houses up and just be able to walk home when I'm done. (laughs) So, um, that was really nice. Um, and then, yeah, that's how we ended our night and um sunday so sunday we had church in the morning so i used um, a little arch from the kit and then pulled in one of the layering boxes from the paper trail plans plan Mosh plan collab struggling with my words um and then i did the same thing that i did um which day did i do it thursday where i kind of took part of that divider and just added it to the top of the arch for a little bit of decoration um and then used a bible from white deer stationery Uh, They are kind of on like different color schemes on the page. And so it was perfect that I had this like kind of peachy color one. So I brought that in um, and did a bunch of floral layering. And then underneath that, I marked Bojangles again. Yes, Bojangles again. Don't judge me. Um, I don't eat Bojangles because I can't have any of the things there. Um, And it's not like my favorite, but my kids love Bojangles. And I don't know, they they talked me into it. We just went and got them Bojangles after church. So um, yeah don't judge me. <laughs> use the paper moose crafts icon again for that one. And, um, use a little bit of the honeycomb deco from Sadie stickers, as well as a Sadie stickers, um, like paint swatch date cover thing. Use that as kind of like a little box. Um, and then underneath the full box, by the way, I love that full box of the typewriter. So cute. Um, I was marking that we stopped at Target and CVS that day after, after we got Bojangles for the kids, we did a couple other errands. Um, and I just marked that checkbox like the same way that I did the other one with some floral up top and, um, the little like B line divider thing. Um, looks like I was, I guess I just added a couple little like honeycomb things in there or something. Um, and then this one, I wanted to add in this box. I'm like trying to figure out where I should put it or how it was going to work like flow wise with the icons and everything. Um, so I decided not to use an icon for the Target and CVS run because I didn't really know I would have to move the checklist to the other side and I don't know, it didn't make sense. So I just was like, I'm just going to write stuff in there and put florals. That's what's going to happen. So, um, I pulled in that little hexagon box. I love that so much. It's from Letters to Apollo and I've had that for a couple of years now and, um, just waiting for the perfect moment and there it was. So, um, just put a lot of florals around that and I pulled in a little TV console from a Miss and Meow. I think it was maybe from an old kit or maybe a freebie. Um, I think it was a freebie actually, but it was pink and with gold foiling and it just matched perfectly. Um, so I kind of tucked that into the floral there, um, just kind of hid that in there. I think the icon is better suited for the left side, but I 
didn't think it flowed quite as well. So I wanted it on the right side. So I just tucked it in there um, and then added a ton of floral behind the box um, to kind of make it look like that hexagon honeycomb was just like jumping out of all the floral. And I was using that box. Let's see. Um, I was marking that we watched The Good Doctor. I don't know if this is when we started watching it, like, or if this was like later on, but it might have been when we first started watching it because I feel like we've been watching it for a little while now. Um, but yeah, we started watching The Good Doctor. Um, good show. It's, I feel like the later episodes that I'm in now, like after they get into COVID, I'm kind of annoyed by it. So I don't know if I'll keep watching it at this point, but um, yeah, I liked it up until that point. So we'll see. And then they took a main character off. I won't say who in case you've never watched it, but they took a main character out at the end of one of the seasons. I think it was end of season two. Um, and that made me really sad because they were one of my favorites. So I, I don't know. And I feel like everything just kind of went downhill. So um, haven't watched it in like, I don't know, a couple weeks at this point, I think. But um, when I do watch it, I get sucked in for hours on end. So I'm pretty sure we probably stayed up later than we should have going into a work week. Um, oh, it wasn't a work week though, because it was July 3rd. So we had off the next day for July 4th. So we probably did stay up until like 2am on a binge or something. Um, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me in the least. So um, after I was done, I haven't done the, um, like ring area, like deco in a while. Um, but I felt like the spread just needed a little bit of something more because I, again, loved these florals so much, still love these florals. Um, and just wanted to add something a little bit more. So I did go back through, I still had a decent amount of florals left surprisingly. So, um, I mean, sort of decent, right? You can see I used a lot of them, but, um, I just wanted to bring them in and kind of make it like, really flow with all the florals so I brought in some florals and then brought in the cute little like bee deco um, I have a lot of those so I figured I would use some and um, just kind of spread them throughout the spread <laughs> spread them throughout the spread um, but yeah so I just put some of the little bees in here and then um, oop, just trimming them off there Sometimes I feel like my blade doesn't cut really well. I do need to get a new one. I think Sadie Stickers has a really good one. I think I've heard good reviews about that. So um, let me know what cutter you guys use. I feel like I haven't asked for a whole lot of um, like feedback or anything. I'm sorry if I've just been talking and talking and haven't even been like, hey, comment below. But always feel free to comment below on anything I'm saying and, um, you know, your opinions or your thoughts or your experiences, whatever. Um, I love getting to know you guys through the comments. So um, definitely if, even if I didn't say like, oh, tell me about your whatever, feel free to do it. Um, yeah. So I'm just trying to cut these. These were a little bit trickier to cut some of the like ones that are fully foiled. That one right there I really struggled with. Um, but yeah, just cutting them down the middle and it came off. Um, but yeah, that was my date cover deco area. And I believe that's the end of my spread here. Yep. So I'm just doing a little foil wiggle. Um, again, I am obsessed with this spread. I love how it came out. It just all flowed together really well. I don't feel like I struggled too much with trying to figure it out. And that was really nice. So um, just showing you the rest of what I had left. I used a ton from the kit, probably the most I've used from any kit. So um, yeah, that's, this is the after the pen, um, just kind of rolling through this so you can see everything after I wrote in it. Um, but thank you guys again so much. If you've made it this far on the plan with me, you get a gold star. <laughs> I know that was a lot of talking. Um, hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. And if you liked this video, I would love it if you give a thumbs up and, um, subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And, uh, I plan on being back with more plan with me's and hauls and other videos soon. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys back here real soon.